All right, uh, combining like terms. So it's important for us to combine like terms when we have the same, <laughs> same variable factors. I'm just really joking with you. I have this yellow Sharpie and I'm like, you know what, I just wanna write with it. But obviously you cannot see that unless you're like high Superman vision or you're like really good uh, um, resolution. So I'll start with the right, but what I, what I said is same variable factors. So let's take a look at our variable factors for each of these terms. Here I have AB, here I have AB cubed, and here I have AB. So the, remember the factors are what you're multiplying by. Well, the only two that are the same are AB and AB. So here is A and B, but that's B cubed. That is not the same as B. So therefore, I can only combine these two. So what I'm going to do is, I'm just going to combine them. What's 11AB minus 8AB? That answer is going to give you 3AB. And again, you could use just straight up property for this. Since they're both multiplied by an AB, you could factor it out and then just subtract the 11 minus 8, which is 3. All right? Or you could say if you have $11, you um, owe somebody 8, you now have $3. And then I can't do anything with that 3AB cubed, so I just say plus 3AB cubed. And there you go.